This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, two tanks are each partially filled with 96 gallons of water. As shown in the illustration, tank A is four-fifths full and tank B is two-thirds full. What is the maximum amount of water that can be held in both tanks together? All right, so let's look at tank A and uh, tank B separately. We know that both of them have 96 gallons of water in them. Uh, tank A is four-fifths full, so 96 gallons is going to be equal to four-fifths of its maximum capacity, which I'm going to call X. Likewise, tank B has 96 gallons of water. That's equal to two-thirds of its maximum capacity, which I'm going to call X. So we have to solve both of these equations for X. Uh, to solve this one for X, we're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which is 5 over 4. This crosses out here and here, leaving you with x. We can see that x is equal to 5 over 4 times 96. I'm going to write 96 as a fraction by placing it over 1. Now, you should know that 4 goes into 96 evenly. 4 goes into 4 one time. 4 goes into 96 24 times. One over, uh, 5 over 1 is 5. 24 over 1 is 24. So, uh, x is equal to 5 times 24. Again, if you can't do that mentally, uh, do it off to the side. We have 24 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. Bring down a 0, carry a 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. So we can see x in this case is 120. That means tank A can hold 120 gallons of water. Let's move on to tank B. Um, again, we're going to solve for x. And to do that, we're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is 3 over 2. This crosses out here and here, leaving you with x over here. I could write 96 as a fraction by placing it over 1. That enables me to cross-reduce. 2 goes into 2 one time. 2 goes into 96 48 times. This becomes 3 over 1, which is just 3, times 48 over 1, which is 48. What is 3 times 48? Again, if you can't do that mentally, do it off to the side. We have 48 times 3. 3 times 8 is 24. Carry a 2. 3 times 4 is 12. Plus 2 is 14, so x in this case is 144. That means tank B can hold 144 gallons of water. How much water can they hold together? Well, we have 144 plus 120. This is 462, so they can hold 264 gallons of water together. So let's circle back and take a look at this part right here where I did cross reducing. How did I know four goes into 96 24 times? Well, if you didn't know that, you could always do 96 divided by four doing long division. Four goes into nine two times without going over. Four times two is eight. Nine minus eight is one, drop down this six. Four times four is 16. 